A very good morning to everyone. Welcome to the first ever Virtual National Export Congress, the highlight of the National Exporters Week 2020. Let me acknowledge the presence of our beloved DTI Secretary Ramon Lopez, Dr. Sergio Ortiz Luis Jr., President and CEO of uh, PIL Export, Mr. Fujita Masataka, Secretary General, ASEAN Japan Council, Ms. Pamela Cook Hamilton, Executive Director, International Trade Center, Under Secretary Bles Lantayuna, DTI God Focal Person, Mr. Emmanuel Ray Kaintip, OIC Under Secretary for Special Concern, Department of Information and Communications Technology, Assistant Secretary Jane Pacheco of DTI E-Commerce Lead, Ms. Rosana Ordaneta, Deputy Director General of TISDA, Mr. Milchor Plabazan, Director, Technology Risk and Innovation Supervision, Banco Central ng Pilipinas, ADC Council and Exico members, our panelists from the private sector, my colleagues in the government, partners from the private sector and the academy, and most importantly, our exporters who are with us today. We celebrate the National Exporters Week every first week of December as declared by virtue of the Presidential Proclamation Number 1931, Series of 1996, and House Resolution Number 33, as part of our advocacy to strengthen export awareness and support. Gathered to actively participate in today's Congress are various stakeholders that play a very critical role in the sustained economic performance of the country. These are the exporters, small and medium enterprises, government policy makers, trade support institutions, the academy, development partners and international organizations. This year's theme, Digitalization Boost, and by creating export in the new normal is consistent with the trust of the Philippine export industry to be at the cutting edge of innovation and connectivity as a competitiveness strategy. We will showcase export companies in the field of manufacturing, digital payments, logistics, and skills upgrading and retooling who are able to navigate and embrace the abrupt shift of changing business landscape towards a post-COVID-19 world. Additionally, we will highlight what policy reforms and solutions were led to address the COVID-19 pandemic in digitalization, e-commerce, logistics, and education and training. The National Export Congress is jointly organized by the Department of Trade and Industry, Export Development Council, and the Philippine Exporters Confederation, the PIL Export. I want to thank all of you for giving us your time and effort in making today's event possible despite this unprecedented pandemic. We thank you that despite the odds, and challenges you are facing right now, you continue to do what's the best to make the exporting sector thrive. I salute each and every Filipino exporter for their resilience. This pandemic may have changed our lives, but I fervently hope that the spark is still within us. The passion to continue on what we were all doing before the pandemic struck the country. That is boosting the export sector as well as continuing to assist the country's micro, small 
and medium enterprises in sustaining their markets and products despite the current challenges they are facing. Currently, we are reviewing and assessing the PADP's strategies, indicators, and export targets to see if such are still doable or not and continue to be optimistic that we will be able to still achieve even the low-end target of $122 billion in 2022, hand in hand. As we are gathered here today, I urge the export sector to help the government in crafting policy reforms that will not only improve and boost the performance of our export, but to generate the much-needed revenues for the economy and jobs for our people. Let us together leverage and make use of available and cutting-edge digital tools and continue to innovate as entrepreneurs so that we remain competitive in this evolving digital economy. Thank you once again to all of you for your presence. Your participation in this endeavor will ensure the success of the export industry and the country as a whole. Magandang magandang umaga po sa ating lahat at mabuhay po tayong lahat.